Hey, welcome back. Um, in this episode, I just have a couple of random things to talk about. I thought I would talk a little bit about uh, Recordbox, since I've been using that. A little bit about what's up with the channel, and then a little bit about me personally as a DJ. Record box. So I have been using that probably exclusively for the last week. And you know, if you've looked at any of my previous videos, you know that I, I think the potential of Record Box DJ is uh, amazing. I think it's a really, really good software. Uh, visually, um, it works, uh, it's really tight, uh, the effects are really good. Um, you know that I can do transitions, uh, it, and it's got some. In, it's doing some innovative things, I think. However, <laughs> um, one thing that happens really consistently is that it skips uh, a half a beat or a beat, and so the, obviously, if you're a DJ, you can't have that. It's got to be. I always say that DJ software has to be bulletproof. It's one reason why I say, as much as I like virtual DJ, um, it gets a you know a half a star off, I would say, because I don't think it's bulletproof. Uh, it crashes on occasion, whereas you know Tractor never crashes, Serato never crashes. So um, I've been going online, I've been going through the settings, I've been trying a bunch of different things. It looks like it's a genuine bug because I, I see in the forums that it seems to be happening with other people and the solutions that people have recommended haven't really worked for me. So I'm going to be, at, you know, it's the day before Christmas, right after Christmas I'll probably create a, a ticket and see if I can get some assistance to get that resolved. But as it is, you know, as much as I like the interface and all the other things that are happening within Recordbox DJ, if uh, that continues and that doesn't happen in any other software, then it's a platform that I, I really can't use and I'll have to go, I'll have to use something else. So I wanted, thought I would talk, tell you a little bit about myself as a, a DJ, like why am I doing this? First of all, I'm, I am not walking around saying I am the world's best DJ. Um, I have been DJing off and on for quite a while. I mean, I, I'm quite an old dude. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the first thing I DJed with is I had a turntable and a tape, uh, tape deck. And I'm talking about a reel-to-reel. -reel. And so essentially what I would do is I would take my records and then I would record all the songs to the reel-to-reel, -reel, and then I would skip to the reel-to-reel, -reel, that would be sort of the master, and then I would mix that with, um, you know, the turntable. Like, literally, that's the, the first thing that I, I had. Uh, the, the technology that we have today for DJing is uh, amazing. Um, I got back seriously into DJing about um, five years ago, and literally, I saw some video from Tiesto, maybe I'll, I'll post the link. And I'm like, this is this what's happening with, with DJing? Like, you have a DJ and he's essentially in a stadium or an arena of some sort, and all these people are, there's all this energy, and I'm like, oh. And so literally, I don't know, I think the next day, or next two days, I went out and bought a DJ controller, and uh, then I was off. So. Um, you know, while I don't, I'm not walking around thinking I'm the world's best DJ, there's a couple of things. One, I am doing this channel because you, as a viewer, will get to see uh, my improvement. Like, my, my goal genuinely is to improve. I would think I'm sort of an intermediate DJ now, I'm not the world's best scratcher, but I can, I can mix fairly well. Um, you know, like, I, I'm not horrible. 
um, but I can certainly get better. And so you'll have the opportunity to see somebody that you see them where they are today and then you know a year from now hopefully it'll be better, two years from now it'll be better. So that's one component. Two, you know I work in IT uh, as my, my real job and as part of that uh, I have been a computer trainer uh, in the past. And so one of the things I always find is that if you want to get better at something, then teach it. And so in order to teach something, you really have to break it down in, in, in a way that you can explain it to other people. So this actually forces me to think about DJing, think about the actual process so that I can teach it and therefore make myself better. So. Um, that's a second component and um, two just just generally get um, better speaking in front of a camera you know I'm I'm okay as a speaker but normally what I end up having to do is I you know practice, if I have a presentation and I literally practice for hours on end to make sure that I almost know every word that I'm going to say as part of that presentation and in this format, I can't do that, and I don't want to do that. I sort of want to speak off the top of my head, so I want to get better at that. So um, I'm really good, I think, at taking things that are complicated, breaking them down into a format uh, that I can explain to other people. And so that's sort of what I hope is the value of this particular channel. So, if there's something that you guys have an interest in, you know, put it in the comments. If I don't know, then um, I'll figure it out, I'll make a video, and everybody will be better for it. The third value that I think that I bring to this particular channel is, I've used lots of stuff. You know, I have, I've used all the, the, app, the DJing applications, so I have an opinion, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the right opinion but I do have an opinion and I'm happy to share that. I've used all different kinds of controllers, I've used CDJs, I've used top-of-the-line stuff, I've used low stuff. Um, so you know I can talk about, I think I can talk about those those things and I like, I love technology just because I'm in IT in general and I like talking about those things. So. Um, I think I can bring some value that way as well, just different experiences. I have DJed out, although I've been, I've mostly done mobile DJing and, um, you know, I'm an open format DJ, so I don't have a particular, like I only do hip hop or I only do EDM. You know, when I sit down, um, I usually start by picking a song, something I like, and then I'm off and running. Sometimes that might be, hey, it's all 80s stuff. Sometimes it's going to be maybe R&B. Uh, sometimes it's house. So, um, you know, my musical taste is fairly broad. And uh, hopefully that my channel uh, represents that. So before this video gets uh, super long, I just, uh, like I said, wanted to do a quick update on Rekordbox talk a little bit about my myself as a DJ and my experience and uh, what it is that I'm trying to accomplish and like I said if you have any questions feel free to comment as the people that have been doing so thus far have been answering things very quickly and I want to hear from you so with that I will say it's the day before Christmas uh, Merry Christmas Happy Holidays and um, You'll hear from me right after the holidays. Cheers.